Hello and welcome to the October energy update. I'm Christine Gold with 24 Karat Healing, and I'm a spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach, old soul healer, and soul purpose mentor. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you have followed for quite a while, thank you so much for your support. I love you. I hope you're all doing well. You're of course healthy and happy. And, but of course you're here, you're here to share in community and each month I kind of take like an energy forecast. Um, usually there's at least three themes. Um, I've brought in affirmations and animal totems. And this month I'm like, you know, I'm just going to keep it simple <laughs> and going to keep it loving. Um, I'm really feeling the love today with this beautiful um, rose background. Um, I mean, look at all the flowers. I mean, it's it's amazing. Uh, just seeing stuff like that, we need more of that, right? Okay. So just going to dive in. Honestly, one key word came in and, you know, I think that alone is enough to talk about for the month, okay? I feel we need to, yeah, strip things down make it simple, make it fluid, make us able to concentrate on one thing instead of multiple things. And, you know, this one theme for October can have multiple um, outlets or branches, or it could expand, right? Depending on who is here today, um, who is watching. It, it really, it's, yeah, it is dependent on the person's perception, where you're at spiritually, whether you, you know, you're just waking up, you're in the middle, you've been around for a very long time, maybe, you know, like myself, an old soul, right? Um, so really, the, the word is reconciliation. And yes, we, we honor and recognize, I'm in Canada, so we honor and recognize um, you know, we had orange shirt day on the 29th of September, and then we had national reconciliation day and it's for, you know, indigenous, um, you know, everything that has happened, uh, we're still trying to reconcile and really it's more about the truth coming out more than anything. Okay. So I looked up, you know, me, I like to really kind of strip everything down and get into the, the nuts and the bolts of what reconciliation really means. And there were quite a few different definitions. Um, justification. Um, justification, I feel when you have to justify something, you're, you're talking to the wrong people. Because the people that understand, know and love you and support you, you don't need to justify anything. Interesting. Okay. To make amends. Yes, I understand that to make amends. Um, they also described it as former enemies agree to a, a, a truce. Okay, a truce. Now this, you know, it reminds me of war. I understand that truce. Um, but it has to be amicable, both sides. Um, and then I looked up, um, you know, the, there's a Corinthian, second Corinthians 520, be reconciled to God. That is reconciliation to bring it back to God, to bring it back to yourself, to bring it back to oneness. That one really aligns with what we're talking about. Christ through the cross who made reconciliation possible. So really it was his sacrifice to reconcile and make things possible for us to become friendly again. And that's really what we're trying to do. Be each other's friends and neighbors, to love one another, to support one another, to hold no fear, no hate, no judgments, to forgive. And a song that had come in, um, Natalie Cole, I Miss You Like Crazy. So yes, there's been a, a lot of death and grief and loss in 2021, even more so than 2020. 2020 was shock. Now we're seeing 
you know, the, the ramifications of 2020 and 2021. So really go back to the, you know, five questions. What do we need to make amends for? Who, what, where, and why, and how, how will you go about making amends? to yourself, to others in your everyday life? Why do you need to make amends? It'd be good to, you know, grab a piece of paper, a journal after this, or even while we're talking to start writing these things down. Journaling is very important. Um, and where, where do you need to make amends? Is it in your personal life? Is it in your finances? Is it in relationships? Maybe it's all of it, but you got to pick one and start there. Okay. What? What do you need to make amends for? That means taking responsibility, taking inventory. You know, don't really want to go there. I get that. <laughs> um, and who? Um, you know, it could be yourself. It could, like I said, it could be friends, family, coworkers, bosses, whatever it is. Um, just maybe start a list. And then you can expand on the what, where, why, and how. Okay, start with, start with one person, one situation, um, one area of your life. Yeah, that I, I'm even in my own life, I'm seeing this, I definitely I'm making amends with a lot of things. So those are the five inquiries. And truth is, you know, really just standing sovereign, even in in the polls, when you're feeling pulled, but when you're pulled or pulled apart, you're really expanding. You're really finding out what you're made of. I think of my dad. Um, he lives in a lot of fear and um, he is so worried about dying alone. So that is something that he has to come to terms with. He know, we know that's not true, but for him it is. So really being and trying to understand where somebody's coming from and showing compassion, even when you don't understand and it doesn't make sense, you've got to build the bridge to find out where they're coming from. That's what I'm saying. Even if you think it's irrational. <laughs> In fear and fight and flight and freeze, there is not, nothing that is rational in any of it, okay? It's just how you feel at that moment. But then maybe you've been running from moment to moment and it's just part of your, your fabric of who you are. All right. So really just, you know, expand. What is your truth, your voice? What is your freedom? Critical thinking, your presence, empathy, creating, stepping out of the shadow, okay? Do not fight the shadow, rather sidestep it. Now we're getting into a bit of channeling here. So, and what do I mean by sidestep? Don't get pulled into things that aren't yours. You shine your light. Darkness is, you know, it's revealed, but you're not in it. It's revealed. That's what I'm saying. So stand in that arena over and over. This is our evolutionary shift of human consciousness. And you really are the gladiator in the arena. You know, we've got three months left, guys. Um, don't get caught in one narrative of the collective. You're missing the whole point of it. That's what they want. Don't have that. Um, the mic, I want to say the microscope effect. Don't do it. You're really here to expand. All right. So move into higher states of consciousness by choosing every single moment of how you want to be with self and every other human. That's your power presence, waking up the slumber of the collective shadow. So that's what I've got, you know, um, for journaling and uh, just sharing the bit of channeling. And uh, when I tuned in um, some of the songs that came through, let me know in the comments below, um, you know, what pieces, you know, resonate for you. Some might, might not resonate for you. Um, something about being very descriptive. I'm just hearing, you know, being very descriptive, decisive, determined. It's a lot of D's in those. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let me know, share this out. And I don't know if you follow Muji. 
Um, it's M O O J I. I just listening to his voice has a very calming tone to it, just like Alan Cohen, just like Wayne Dyer, just like Michael Murdad. I mean, they just have this presence about them. And he was talking about intention, and I'm like, okay, I'm meant to watch this <laughs> because my word when we worked at the Dream Vision Map at the beginning of the year was intention. But he says it can cause inner tension because, you know, great, he talked about great inventors and authors and people that have come up with great ideas and solutions. They didn't, it didn't come from them pushing, 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 pushing their minds and trying so hard and striving, but it was a moment of quiet relaxation and internal intention that magic the idea, the spark, the imagination, the creativity is revealed. And I'm like, okay, this is powerful, very powerful. So pushing conceals, space reveals. So really you're telling yourself if you're pushing, you know, what are you already? You're incomplete, but there is power in silence and recognizing silence before any efforting is made. It's a state of being, not doing. And, and he talked about we're trying to twist and bend ourselves into shapes, but we are spacious and formless and shapeless. And in that, we are spaciousness. You want to go further and not faster. I always say quality over quantity. It's very important. So when you're in your openness, you're in your godness, your God field. It's, it's personal. It's narrow. The heart is open. You're expandable. Um, and what's not more open than God. And he says, when you're in your openness, you're in your God field. So, um, and he says, it's really, you can't describe it. And I know the feeling it's just, uh, it's like having all the weights of the world lifted off of your shoulders. You feel light, you feel brighter, lighter, um, shiny, er, <laughs> So, all right. So uh, we're going to shift gears here a little bit. Um, I will post, uh, be sending out the affirmation for October as well. And I'm doing something a little different. I'm not bringing in, you know, the intro like I did and all the fancy graphics and all of that. So not sure if it makes a difference or not. Let me know. I just wanted to change things up a little bit. Okay. Um, and I'm bringing in this uh, beautiful drum. And this is my son's drum. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a, a meditation. So, and just going to come in and see what, uh, I really want to focus on the breathing. So if you just want to find a spot to sit, if you're already seated, have your feet flat on the floor, or you may lay down. This is your time. There is no right or wrong way. It just is. Maybe light a candle, incense bring your essential oils in, whatever it is. All right. So we're really going to focus on the breathing and it's going to be a four, a four breath. Okay. So it's kind of like the box breath that we've talked about before. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So breathe in for four, two, three, four, hold three, four, Breathe out, two, three, four, hold. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. And take a big breath in and a big breath out. So just listen to the drum and you can continue with the breathing if you'd like. Close your eyes and just imagine what's coming forward. Are you seeing something? Are you hearing something? Are you smelling something? Are you tasting something? Are you knowing something? Let it come in. 
Is it one of your guides? Is it an angel? Is it an animal? Is it spirit? One of your loved ones? Just let it come into your field, relax, let go. Is it God? What is your message? Is it for you? Or is it for somebody else? Just take the message, take the feeling, take the knowing, and thank whoever has stepped forward. For me, I'm seeing a version of myself that I used to know. I'm waving goodbye. And as we close out 2021, we have three months left. Three months. Three months. What do you need to know? So take your time coming back, let this fully integrate, stretch, maybe grab your journal if you want to write something down, maybe you want to pause this video as you're writing it down or just fully taking this in, take your time coming back. This was a spontaneous <laughs> and really, I mean, the best ones are spontaneous, right? It's really hard to force things. It just doesn't feel natural anymore. So, I mean, this begs, you know, brings in uh, authenticity. So is it authentic? Is it truly authentic what we're doing? All right. I will be drawing one card because I'm keeping, we're keeping this short and sweet. So we will, we'll see, because I can't tell on Zoom what, uh, where, where we are time-wise. So <laughs> I, we are pulling from the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor, one of my favorite decks. And uh, of course, I always ask, what do we need to know? And maybe you can grab your cards too and join along because really it's, you know, working together, we're just creating um, space for each other. Um, asking open-ended questions, not yes or no, because then that's the ego getting involved, wanting to manipulate or twist situations into our favor. Whereas we're just letting go and we're asking, what do we need to know for the month of October in order to fully become ourselves, fully become ourselves? That's an interesting question. What do we need to know for the month of October. Oh, wow. That was quick. <laughs> like super quick. It just flipped. I, and I love this because I've pulled this card a couple times already. Um, in the last couple weeks, I pull a card for myself every day. I don't know if you do, but I, if you do, and maybe if you don't just ask, you know, what do I need to know today? And just go with it and see what spirit shows you. I mean, spirit is never wrong. Your intuition's never wrong either. You just got to follow and, and lead and let the heart lead. All right, strategy. And we were talking about journals. Uh, two and one is three. So three is mind, body, spirit. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. Um, you can see that there's a key here. You hold the key. You've got scrolls. So I'm thinking more, um, yeah, Akashic records, finding out more about your past lives. 
the compass, your inner compass, your that's your intuition, that's your GPS. You've got some coins, some money, some precious metals coming in. Uh, the feather, that's your angelic team. Your angelic team is with you always, especially in October. And, and think of them as you're writing in your journal as well. Um, what are you looking to create? There's maps. So I see movement too. Um, and I highly, you know, this resonates with me as well. i am continuously been moving the last couple months just trying to find my space and my spot where I'm supposed to land for a while. And uh, it hasn't fully revealed itself yet, but it will, okay? So really have a strategy. Start writing down things that you would love to manifest in your life, um, some short-term goals um bring back some big umbrella ones like what's your big your moby dick goal what's your ultimate and really have a plan okay but enjoy it too and and it it will change we talk about this too it does change so be flexible to adapt and maybe put things on the back burner that are that are not quite working out and don't be too attached to any outcome okay Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Have an amazing October. I'll have more events coming up. And of course, I have the year round uh, mentorship to work one on one with me, or working in a group setting. So stay tuned for details for that. It'll be in the comments below. I also have a beautiful Unleash Your Souls membership group as well. It's completely free. Uh, if you'd like to join, if you're struggling uh, with anxiety, depression, you're feeling a lot of stress, um, you're looking to connect with other beautiful souls uh, that are highly, you know, intuitive, empathic, um, and just really trying to uh, co-create and create that space. Uh, the links will be below as well, and as well as all the other events that I hold, including the Power of Healing Your Energy show, which is live every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific. All right. Thank you so much. And please remember, healing begins where the ego ends. Take care. <laughs>